Today is September the 12th, 2016, and I gotta show you something here I think you'll like. Isn't that beautiful? This is my latest amplifier built into the old Collins 30K1 cabinet. 30K1 cabinet and it's a 31000Z. It's its idle. One on the right is the plate currents idling at about 240 milliamps. 3500 volts on the plate. And uh, of course everything else is at zero. The middle one doesn't do anything. It's not being used. The uh, left one is the grid current. Can't show you much. I've got the, uh, the it in manual mode so I can uh, get such a good picture of that too but uh, I've um, monitored it and I've seen how this thing turns out and it's just beautiful isn't it let's get back to some automatic stuff and I'll finish it up okay with that we'll look at the back of it here's the big tune circuit with the uh, uh, tuning uh, coil and the loaded capacitor. There's the uh, tube in the back. I'm actually making this for, if no other reason, there are no uh, 3-1000Z amplifiers homemade on uh, YouTube. I think there, I think there's a commercial one, one or two on there. I've got a blower blowing on it right there. This is not the perfect blowing system, but uh, it's not bad. And then I got one right under here uh, muffin fans are actually not very good working into a pressured environment. I've known that and learned that through experience. So uh, I just have this one blowing up, helping keep the uh, the uh, seals cool on the uh, filaments and the grid down there. It's actually a decent little socket. It's a Chinese socket, but it's actually built quite nice. has a lot of ventilation in it. I think it's doing a good job. Of course, there's the B&W 800 coil, parasitic choke, etc. There's the view from the bottom. Yeah, there's there are no uh, homemade uh, 3-1000Zs on the on YouTube. Here's the power supply. Then I know it's a little dark, but um, let's see. There's a big power transformer right there. Into a bridge rectifier. I use that brown transformer over there as a 2 to 1, 240 in, 120 out. It's a 5 kVA transformer. And my soft start uh, circuit that I made a video of just the other day. Uh, power supply chokes. and It's a choke input to a Pi, so it's uh, very well filtered. These circuits right here, these uh, chassis are actually only used for the 4CX1000. I'll show you the... Let me show you the 4CX1000. It's over here. I don't use it anymore, but uh, there it is. They used to just slide in there. The chassis is pressurized in this case. It's got that uh, R175 or whatever they call it, RF choke. And uh, there's the uh, big tube. It's got an air vane switch to make sure everything comes up. And then uh, there's some old Collins stuff I have. And, whatever type of equipment. But anyway, this is a real short video, but uh, now we actually have a 4 dash one I mean, excuse me, 3-1000Z out posted uh, on YouTube.